Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever and whenever you find yourself. Fudge Dice Roll here, and we are back on the farm here in Iowa Plains. So uh, it's March time now, and we've got a little bit of rain coming down, which is fine. Uh, there is a few things that happened uh, over the winter months. A couple of nice sales popped up uh, at our local uh, farm distribution uh, and 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 machinery warehouse they had a, f a few really nice sales pop in and uh I, I i i took some footage of that and i think what we'll do is we'll go ahead and inject that now so um we'll just kind of go through that and then we'll pick back up All right, and this is the last of our major crops we have to drop off here. Uh, we've got the, we've got not all, but some of our silage bales here. Uh, we had a total of 31 bales that we baled, and I'm bringing just 18 of them. I wanted to save some of my silage for when we get cattle. So we will get the silage in, and then we'll go ahead and get our total tally for income. Uh, oh boy. Let's go ahead and start dipping this down. There we are. All right. 18k on that wow that's actually really good we did have some environmental score penalty and that's just because we were having some uh issues with the uh you know the fields we bought you know we already had the fields when we started and you know they weren't properly maintenance taken care of and everything and so we're gonna have a little bit of environmental loss on that so let's take a final look at our tally uh, in total, we did 91k in harvest and 18k in bales and then uh, our miscellaneous here. So we made $124,000. We did have an expense. Uh, we bought uh, the extension onto our uh, tipper trailer so that we could... Instead of carrying just 22 cubic meters of goods, we'd be able to carry 30 three cubic meters of goods so yeah i i'll just be continuously checking the uh sales bin here um <laughs> we scored this amazing pickup there we also got a grass field roller so i am just super pumped about that uh this is a huge piece of equipment here but uh you know this is definitely going to be doing a lot for our farm this thing's an absolute workhorse uh is what i've got like uh i think it's 420 or 475 horsepower 
What's your horsepower on you, huh? Um, 425. I have 425 horsepower. That gives me a lot of wiggle room for bigger equipment uh, if and when it comes. Super, super excited about that. Okay, so yeah, we'll go ahead and pick back up here, guys. Um, yeah, it's a little bit of a little bit of B roll footage, you know. So here we have our new ninety four thirty. This thing is an absolute unit. I do hate to see the seven R go. Uh, I did really love the seven R, but with this, we're looking at four hundred and twenty five horsepower. You know, that is uh, a nice substantial bump up from I think the uh, three twenty five that we had in the 7R. So this is gonna pull dang near anything. I've, it's gonna pull everything that I have here now, but it'll open up a lot for me in the future. Uh, our disc arrow here, our shallow disc arrow, our planter, these are both uh, well within the capabilities of this uh, tractor. Uh, as well, we took our power tube. Uh, this is the same this is the same trailer, but we took it in and we had uh, the extension retrofitted on. And we also went ahead and slapped a new paint job on there. I was kind of feeling a little uh, Rolling Stones, wanted to paint it black. <laughs> so now what is cool is I actually got uh, in touch with the dealership here in town. And they told me that right now they have this Kloss Axion uh, 800 series here in the shop for sale uh one of the other farmers he just you know he, he ended up trading it in i would love to pick this thing up this would be a good intermediary tractor for me however comma uh my my uh 9430 will pull anything here on the farm and uh up at the uh up at the the grassland the the little uh grassland area that i have where i've got my other storage going on we'll just run through the rain real quick uh my 6150 uh, m will pull anything over here every piece of equipment over here is uh is fully capable of being handled by the 6150 so yeah uh also really happy to get this uh this dalbo grassland roller that is going to be awesome. That's going to help me to improve the yielding and efficiency on our grass field over there. Uh, as well, we have more than enough, uh, more than enough straw, hay, and silage that I'm going to go ahead and get in touch with the animal dealer here in town. And we're going to go ahead and see about getting some cattle into that barn. I've got a little bit of cleanup to do in there. Uh, just, you know, a little bit of prep work, but I really would like to see if he can part with a, just a, a small number of Holsteins. Now, I was going to look at doing Angus and raising beef cattle, but I uh, just milk cattle, I, I, I like that. That's always kind of been something that I've been a big fan of, and so, you know, I'll get myself some Holsteins, get them out here, and uh, we'll go ahead and get that production going. I'd love to get a good amount of slurry and manure kind of getting built up here on the farm. It's because I would love, love, love to get to the point where I could use that uh, as fertilizer for the crops. And with that said, there's also, well, actually, I don't think you can handle slurry, can you? No, you can't. Uh, eventually, we'll get to that point where we can be using that for fertilization to help with our pH and nitrogen balance on the fields. Uh, and we're just gonna have to really ramp up the amount of cattle we can have. And I'm not quite sure what the capacity on this barn is gonna be. Part of me is saying 60, maybe 80 head. I'm not quite sure, uh, but yeah. So we have a few things to do. Uh, I would love to get that. Uh, I would love to get that tractor that cloth tractor i have the money for it i have the finances actually if we go ahead we'll look over our sheets here and uh we have one hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars right now on hand i thought about going ahead and trying to pay back but i think i'm going to save my paybacks uh for the end of the year i think like the november time frame feels like a really good time for me to do part of my my loan rep repayment but there's also a little nagging voice in my head saying, hey, we're getting charged, you know, about $1,000 of interest a month. 
So you know what? I think we'll go ahead and do it now. We'll go ahead and repay our 25K now. So we are paid for the rest of the year. Actually, yeah, we'll do it around tax season, right? Like April's the cutoff. We'll say that that's it for us. So we got about 150K to work with. And that should be more than enough for us to go ahead and start getting our cattle operation up and running. Uh, I'm going to need to go into town and grab some mineral feed. I'm also going to need to grab a, uh, a like a bale claw so that I can use that to get those bales into the TMR cart. And yeah, so we're going to go ahead and make some phone calls. We're going to see uh, when we can get some, uh, get some cattle out here, see if we can get an estimate on that, and go into town and grab a few supplies. And hopefully... The rain will stop here soon. So I will be back uh, hopefully later on today and we can get the ball rolling. All right, guys, uh, back from uh, back from the dealership and they kind of did us a solid. They helped us load everything up into our pickup truck here. And we should be able to get up on this here. There we go. Got our bale handler here. This is going to be great. And so I was looking at a few other things while I was there, while I was in town. I was looking at a couple of things that I might want to I might want to consider for the farm. So right now we are using on the farm here a uh, we're using this bale wrapper which mounts to the front of our uh, the front of our tractor here uh, using our front loader. So that's not bad, and our baler itself is pretty good too. Uh, both of these are pretty low consumption, but I was thinking, since we've had these for a little bit here, and it kind of is a more tedious process for me to have to kind of keep hitting the field, hitting the field, hitting the field. So I was chatting with the guy there at the uh, at the John Deere, uh, you know, sales, and he told me that they have in one of these i believe it was this uh this pottinger here this pottinger impress and he said this would basically do everything i needed to do and it's still within the capabilities of the 6150m tractor to handle it would just be me trying to trade those other ones those other two things in and trying to make a little bit of money off of that. So this would be great. This would be awesome to pick one of these up that would uh, make things a little bit easier on us. It would still allow us to roll 180 centimeter bales for like uh, our straw and hay, but it still gives us that same 150 centimeter bale for doing silage. And this would just kind of make things a little bit easier. We do have the money and we would have, I feel like we'd get a really good trade in on those other two pieces. So I think that this is gonna be something that happens. I think uh, just for dealing with grassland care and everything, just to omit a step of having to cut the grass, windrow the grass, bale the grass, and then wrap the grass, that just cuts two things, you know, that, that, that merges those last two. It will bale, wrap, and drop it. It'll be there, it'll be ready for me to go. And I don't have to, you know, put too much extra, you know, I'll do a whole nother extra pass on the field. It's going to save me a little bit of time in the long run. So I think uh, I am going to take him up on that offer. We're going to head back to the dealership later on today and pick this up. We're going to take our other uh, two implements back, drop those off. So, so yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited. Uh, I'm happy that I kind of have the budget to do this because this is a nice piece. Now I know that uh, my sale of those other two are not gonna cover the full cost, but I'm just, you know, nonetheless, I'm still really excited that that's gonna kind of help streamline things for me a little bit more. Uh, okay, speaking of streamlining, we need to go ahead and grab this guy out of here. Uh, the cattle rancher, I did get in touch with the animal, uh, with the, the, the animal supplier. He said that he can get me some Holsteins. He actually does have some, and he can get here later on today. So I'm just trying to get things ready and prepped now.
for them uh, I'm gonna want to get myself a batch of TMR mixed up that way that when they get here there's already food you know they're already gonna be a little bit stressed out from having to be on the road luckily it's not too terribly far of a drive for him to get here so we're just gonna get things set uh, I'm gonna get some some hay down I'm gonna have some hay. I'm gonna get some straw down in uh, in in the 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 barn for them get that all nice and ready gets has some food on standby so that once they get here they can just be nice and happy don't have to worry about anything they can just relax they can get their bearings uh, and be able to even go out and graze pasture if they want so i just got to get a few more things prepped here around the farm and then i will see you guys uh actually you know what? i'll bring you guys along with me when i go to pick up uh our new our new baler here for the farm so uh, see you momentarily all right we made our way back here to the service uh, area here at the john deere dealership and we're going to go ahead and you know we're going to pay it forward so we're going to get things nice and uh nice and fixed up and repaired i'm going to go ahead and repair my front loading thing as well and it's actually good that i had to come out here anyway because i need a bucket um i'm not used to using that particular tmr wagon and i kind of didn't have a good mix ratio on my uh on my hay and silage and uh, straw for the feed so i had to kind of dump some out so i'm going to need to get myself like a little bucket attachment so wow there's actually not a whole lot of damage on this uh but I guess we also don't have a whole ton of operating hours on we have way more operating hours on that uh on our uh baler than we do and while we're already here with the john deere Let's go ahead and repair it as well. So we're going to go ahead and sell this. This is going to get us 58, 826. So we'll go ahead and sell. And this is going to get us 13,886 sell. And that gets us a total of 72,712. So that's actually going to cover a really good portion of that, uh, of that, that, that Baylor wrapper combo for us. That is awesome. That uh, makes me feel really good because we're not going to be spending a whole ton of money. So we get this Pottinger Impress uh, 185 BC Pro. This thing looks great. Uh, foil color. We're going to go ahead and keep with the black foil. And I do like these Michelin tires, so I'm not going to worry about that. We're going to go ahead and buy this guy outright. Well, bam. Leaves us with a budget of 120 Now, we did already pay our tax for the year. Um, by tax, I mean we paid off our... Uh, portion of our our loan that we had to take out so we've got that and while we're here we'll also go ahead and grab ourselves a little universal bucket so that we can scrape up all the silage uh ooh, this would be pretty good too it can be used to also transport oh it's actually smaller why would i want something smaller no we'll go ahead and spend the 1600 dollars on our little front loader bucket as well and let's go grab all that and get it back to the farm look at that man that's gorgeous oh boy even from back here it looks beautiful so we're just gonna roll up on to here mount our front loader bucket and make our way back to the farm uh we've got a little bit of time yet before the uh before the animal supplier arrives with our with our cattle so we will we will be doing good we'll be doing good time i'm not worried about it we got a couple we got about an hour or so before he's gonna get there and it's not gonna take us that long to get home so man look at that thing what an absolute unit that is gonna do so much work for us i am excited i'm excited to see what we can accomplish with this bad boy here go ahead and put on my little travel lights and i will see you guys back on the farm Alright guys, so the uh, the cattle are here. Uh, Joel brought them down for us from the uh, from the animal supply and you might be wondering to yourself, well fudge <laughs> You had a hundred and eighteen thousand dollars How did the animal supplier bring you more cattle and you've got more money? Well, let me tell you something something awesome that happened 
uh, y'all might have remembered that in here we had ourselves a forge wagon. In particular, we had ourselves, uh, let's see if we can go ahead and find it here on the list of wagons. Oh, it would help if we were in the right place. Uh, we had a Faro 4010D. Uh, we have never, we never used it. It just was kind of sitting here. Um, and honestly, I didn't have much uh, in, in the plan of using it. It was here on the farm when we got the farm. Uh, but Joel said that they had quite the need for a new forage wagon. And so he was willing to trade me the cattle for that forage wagon. See, I ended up getting a little bit of better end of the deal and uh he kind of gave me the difference in what it would cost i still sold it to them at a discount i mean they still saved about ten thousand dollars but uh so yeah so i got a little kickback from that which is nice and we've got over 50 head uh holstein cows here and they are happy happy little cows they've already produced a little bit of milk a little bit of slurry which is nice fine by me so look at all these we got uh, some food in there. We got some straw in there for them. Actually, let's go ahead and crunch the numbers on what it's going to take to keep these guys filled. Oh, our chickens. Looks like our chickens here. They're still doing good. 3,000 liters of food a year for them. These cattle here, uh, they're going to need nearly 200,000 liters of food per year, which is fine by me. Uh, we've got plenty of straw, hay, and silage on hand, so it'll be too easy to keep these guys happy. And we actually can house over 200 head of cattle here. About, oh, just shy of 250 to be exact, about 240 head. So we have ourselves a good starting herd here of 50 head of cattle, all these Holsteins. So I think I can even diversify and maybe I will get some meat cattle as well. Maybe we could pick up like 50 head of Angus later on. But uh, it was pretty expensive. I mean, with delivery fees and everything, it was uh, just shy of $60,000 to get these cattle in here, which is quite pricey. But you know what? They're already doing work. Look, they're already making manure. Making manure, making slurry, making milk. We are already getting set for success. Now, hold on. Let's do some quick maths here. Um, I think we have more than enough uh, silage, hay, straw. Wait, why do I have a, another silage bale here that's only a 1,000 liters? How'd that happen? I'm really confused by that. Huh. All right, you know, it's fine. We'll, we'll buff it out, right? So, yeah, this is good. We got these cattle here. Got a few things moved around. Uh, you know, I was happy to get rid of that forage wagon. Uh, it sucks, you know, that I really didn't need to do anything with it, but the fact that it, you know, ended up getting, I ended up getting a good trade out of it. So, uh, is there anything else going on? I don't think there is. Is there any, anybody else, any other farmers offering any work? Nah, nothing great, just some fertilizing contracts, and I don't really feel like doing those. So, uh, let's go ahead and toss this guy. We've been dealing with a lot of rain lately, so let's go ahead and get this guy here into this uh, the shed for now. As you see, I did it took a little bit of time to do some organization, too, get a few things put away and what have you. So, go ahead and close this up. We'll drive on back home, and uh, I think... I think that's pretty much... I think that's pretty much it for the, uh, for the month. I think we're all good for the month of March. Um... We'll hop in. We'll see what we got popping off in April. Uh, if we take a look here at our farmer's almanac, take a look at the uh, at the the, the planting here. Uh, we are going to be trying to do soybeans in field seven. So we've got a couple months before we're going to hit that. Uh, oh, you know what I could do though? I could get some oilseed radish down in that field. So maybe we will. Uh, maybe maybe uh, March two. We will take the Amazon down there and get that cover crop planted in. We don't necessarily need to, per se. Because like I said, we're going to be doing a, basically a no nitrogen uh, requiring uh, cover crop. 
but at the same time like i kind of like the idea of uh, putting it in there just to kind of you know make sure we're not having any issues with soil erosion what have you but i think i think we'll do that i think we will go in we'll get that all planted in nice and neat and that'll give it some time we can work it into the soil before we go ahead and plant all of our soybeans all right and i do still need to get a survey of that field i just know it's going to be expensive i got in touch with uh like the 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 surveying people they quoted me at about thirty thousand dollars to get all the soil samples sufficient for that field it's gonna be a little pricey i could try to do it myself they did point me in the direction of the equipment that i might need to do that in the form of this uh this isaria scout uh this is something i could i could go ahead and rent I could rent one of these guys here, uh, but then I'm still gonna have to get the samples myself and then send the samples into the lab. And that's all still gonna cost, you know, based on the number of samples that are in need to get effective coverage of the field. So it honestly, for me in the long run, it's just gonna be more beneficial to go ahead and bring out the uh, the guys to, to just do it. And now nah, that way I know it's done right so all right um i think that is about it for me i will catch you guys here tomorrow we'll get the amazon out it'll be my first run on the field with our new uh big boy a john deere tractor and it should be good it should be fun that thing's an absolute tank and it should have no problem getting oilseed radish down in that field quick fast and in a hurry thanks so much for being here hanging out with me in iowa plains uh, I appreciate it. If you haven't had a chance yet to like, comment, subscribe, uh, that would be phenomenal. 85% of my viewer base is not subscribed to the channel. I would like to try to hit 1,000 followers by the end of the year on the channel. So if you could please hit that subscribe button. It literally can't get it done without you. I will catch you all in the next episode. I hope you have a great morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever and whenever you are. I'm Fudge Dice Roll. Signing off.